It was a sore molar on the bottom right that was bothering me. The dentist, who had been my parents' dentist, and whose adulterous escapades were known and spoken about in the community. He murmured decay before drawing out the drill. I was concerned since he never wore a mouth guard or rubber gloves. His assistant, a fresh lady with black curly hair, slid the purple laughing gas mask over my face and began arranging pointed stainless steel devices on the movable tray. I could feel the nitrous oxide I was breathing through the purple mask in my limbs, which seemed to gain weight and slip away from my body, leaving me to float. The dentist leaned in to remove the rot from my molar. The fear of pain caused me to twitch at initial contact, but after another breath, I was overcome with tranquility and relaxed even more. I took another deep breath and relaxed even further. Something was wrong. My dentist assistant said something I couldn't understand. How much more could I relax? Now I couldn't hear the drill at all. Only another sound that appeared to me as the underlying hum of the cosmos. A sound that has always been there, but that we never hear. My dentist's assistant kept saying the same nonsensical phrase. The universe was trapped in this one moment and the bass hum became louder and louder as if I was approaching it, recalling it. It had always been there. Clammy, I understood it was the sound of my own death, calmly waiting behind the world's commotion. It was just waiting for me to notice it, for me to remember it. Death, I realized as I inhaled more nitrous oxide, is like an ugly black puppy that follows you for decades. You forget about it, but when the time comes, it'll be just you and the dog, and you'll realize it was all yours all along. It's more devoted than anything else. There is one waiting for you, but you already know that. It's what binds you and me together. You can hear it pant if you're quiet. What I mistook for the world's low drone was the static sound of a flat line, the sound of my fate, an unending noise that implies you don't have to worry about anything anymore. The time for caring has passed. It is limitless and nothing in it moves. It is rest and I was hurrying towards it. I could make out what the dentist's assistant was saying. Are you all right? Are you okay? The words rang in my head. Do you feel okay? Are you all right? He asks again. I just wanted the moment to be gone, for there to be no fuss over me, whether I lived or died. My dentist had stopped drilling, and suddenly I could hear his words. Is the gas making you sick? I bucked yanked the spit chew out of my mouth. Everything faded and repeated, as if it were a movie that had to be replayed before a new frame could be added. The world sliding away from me like so many strips of sevioid. As everything became clearer again, the black puppy backed off. I found myself standing next to the chair, my hand wrapped around the movable overhead light pole. Everything is okay. My dentist said, extending out his hand. Everything is okay. 